Hey everyone, this is Jeff Looney. Welcome back to more Let's Play of Spire the Dragon 2 Ripto's Rage on the PS2 uh, 1. <laughs> As you can see, we're heading over to the Colossus area, which is probably the first level of this summer forest after we've beaten up this, uh, um, you know, this Glimmer Valley. And we're gonna have a cutscene coming up, so I'll be quiet for that, okay? He got eaten! Well, he's dead. Let's end off the game here well, as we collect these gems. There sees no more. A yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. No, he's dead! He is no more! He seems to be. If he wasn't even dead, he would be pushing off daisies. He rests in peace, has a good life. He did everything he has to do. This is the monk that is eaten by a yeti. We should say goodbye to his, have a funeral, and have his own life dead upon us. He's eaten by a yeti. Poor monk. Oh... By concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. Okay. This is a very funny chant you're making. This why I I yow why I I I yow. I'm gonna be so getting flagged for this. It sounds kind of racist for making that kind of. Insult for the monks out there. It's the monastery that makes you feel good. Having a relaxing monastery until you die from somber. Oh, those days. Who needs a key when you know how to chant like this? Okay. Why <sighs> Enemies like those Yaks are too big to be charged. Your flame attack should easily take care of large enemies. Thanks, Zoe Fairy. I'll get a heads up for that. Oh, let's see those gems down there. Gotta collect these gems. Hey, get away! Get! Darn, he's stuck. <laughs> he got stuck there, did you see that? Maybe that was a glitch or something. I don't know. Each time you defeat an enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power-up in that world. If a power-up is inactive, you need to defeat more enemies. Thanks. More tips. Thank you, Zoe. You're so kind. You fairy girl. You're much better than Abby Cadabby. And besides, Zoe Monster is better than Abby Cadabby because a good friend she is. But why are you so mean to Zoe Elmo? Okay, never talk about Elmo ever again. Because if you do, punishment. Okay, Curtis. The brothers. Well. Now I can hear that sweet chant. Why, I, I, uh, why, I, I, uh. Why, I, 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 I
I can do this all day for this rest of this episode. This never gets old. I know it's gonna kinda of sound a little annoying, but it's not. I love the sound it makes. Huh. Remember Hunter's advice? You will glide farthest if you press the X button at the very top of your jump. Okay. Thank you for the reminder. I remember that Hunter's advice. Get a running good start and jump. I never even expected a fairy would say that. I want you in Smash Brothers next time, Zoe. You're the Zozos of the Zoes. Wait, Zozo of Zoes. Even though I'm a vegetarian, I think you should kill that yeti. He's pretty tough, though. In fact, I'm not so sure you're up. Whoa, 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 stop! <laughs> Killing a yeti? Why did you just even say that you should torch that yeti? Do you actually, Smith said, kill the yeti and send the text actually says torch the yeti? It doesn't. Oh, let me read what it says right there. It says torch the yeti, not kill. Torch. Remember that. Okay. So we have to go ahead and kill the Yeti. Man. This is probably the worst thing you can ever even think of a spelling error or something. Okay, let's beat you up. Hopefully you can kill us. Wait. Fatality. I thought the Yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Ro -ro. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Alright, another talisman. Good. The second one so far. Now we get like about 12 this time. We have 12 more to collect. This is going to be a long game. Collecting talismans. It's like me, so you know, like the connection we have those collecting those dragons and trapping them in those dragon statues. This one we have to collect the talismans, which is probably a good collector's item. Ugh. I'm gonna get sick after this. Whoa! An ice rink. You really know those Buddhas really like their ice rinks. Wait a sec. It's a hockey game! Didn't even see that coming. Ah, Spyro, welcome! We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. Okay! Let's try to do that. It's gonna be a little easy. Only have two minutes. Hopefully, I don't fail it. And this is a fun game. It's hockey. Except I can't even have the control of Spyro. Probably because my controller is kind of messed up. I'm, I'm trying to do it with the control stick, but. Or the analog stick, maybe. Maybe I just need to try to do the D-pads. I'm not even moving Spyro. Every time when I move Spyro, he just automatically skates. Like, like this. Yeah, I mean, if you really can't even tell because of how the... You can probably hear this. See? I'm moving Spyro around, and I'm using the... And I'm using this and the analog stick, and... He can only move forward, and if I do this, you probably can hear it, right? Yeah, that's how loud it is. Yeah. Ugh. I probably is a little louder than I can really try to. Probably can even hear it. Let me just get on back on the bed, and I'll just uh, 
Oh, we just have a minute left. We gotta hurry before we actually lose this game. I can't see the goalie. Oh, there's the weak point. That's much better. A lot of the air horns, the classic air horn noises. Well, done. Well done. Have Good, it's a orb. Really just want to collect those. Four orbs, nice. Would you like to try a game of one on? The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at a red goal. Okay. Better just try not to fail this one. I'll try to... Maybe I should try to do it for a first try. Hey, look at this bear. I think that's a bear. But his mouth looks like it's a Muppet mouth. You just need to torch the bear. Not kill it. Torch that bear. Oh boy. Leave me alone, stupid bear. Now, when I tried to do it for the first time, I, I didn't even know what to do. I never... I heard I heard that you need to torch the bear, not not go ahead and uh, just run after him. Ah, I missed. No, I'm st hey, you're just targeting in the wrong direction. Stop following me, stupid bear. Hope you're not even as annoying as money bags. Get away from me, you stupid bear. Stupid Muppet bear. Seriously, these these guys really have mouths. These hockey guys have mouths. Leave me alone, stupid bear. Alright, two more to go. This is gonna be a little tricky, so uh, I hope I don't get hit. I don't get punished by the bear. Hope he's not following me. Oh, he's right there! Come on- Ouch! Well, thank goodness I don't get damaged from it. Please don't. Good. Do not. Do not be playing dumb or anything. Why does these have mouths? Seriously, these hockey players have mouths in them. Are you Jason Voorhees playing the hockey game? Hey! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! I'm trying to catch- Ouch! Stupid Muppet Bear! This is totally shrimp when Muppet Bear's trying to play hockey. Is it even illegal for a bear to play hockey? No! Yeah, thanks. I'm never gonna play hockey ever again. This is just torture. Getting punished by a Muppet Bear was torture enough. And I probably just don't want to play this stupid hockey game ever again. I just, the controls got really too flunky. And I probably don't understand why you cannot, it just automatically just targets you see right in there. <laughs> so tired. Oh, what's over here? 
more gems. More since I wanted to collect. Okay. Oh. Gonna wake up, computer. You don't need to go to sleep. Oh, what's this? Oh, thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. But now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. Okay. Thanks for letting me know, friend. Never mind about those, uh, dreadful Muppet bears. And these monks are possessed, too. Need to go chase down those monks. The monk statues, of course. Never expecting a dragon would come to the Colossus. So much for them. Well, no, it's not there. I thought they were sure it would be there. Oh, those, uh, black things. What are they called, those shadow spirits? Well, hey, leave us alone, black spirit. Why yeah yeah yo I get it You like to say why ya 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 yo Now I'm just starting to feel kinda of like irritating when I hear that noise. It's so how would I say um not annoying but more less annoying in the I mean it sounds kind of nice Why do I have to say nice about this model? Oh yeah, it has nice structure, the very detailed, very good with the monk statues. The brothers are very cute looking. And more calm, pleasant to watch. And uh... The snow, so beautiful. But there's snow in Alaska. It's been snowing in my Alaskan town. It's like a mixture of snow and rain. Why is it snowing in my place and it's summer already? I'm recording this on June 2nd and there's snow already? Oh man. And now there's a snow cave? That's really cool. A snow cave. A secretive snow cave. Wonder where that's can we be, Ben. Alright, let's burn his... <laughs> I'm gonna do something funny. Burned your butt. <laughs> well done, Spyro. You've scared the evil spirit away. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. Eh, they don't need it. Okay. Thank you, Professor. You're so kind, and- Oh wow, I got all three orbs! That one's alone good enough, I don't need a bat track! What's that? Oh, I think I saw something a little secret area like- Oh, there it is! Something a little secretive I can now really try to get these to. Gotta catch these. There we go! 
Here we go! Once more, I like to get away with it. As long as I can hear the why yo yo yos I'm gonna call the why yo guys. why yo 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 why yo yo Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> it's fun to watch. It was funny at first, but now it's getting kind of annoying. I'm not gonna just do that. Um, <laughs> I won't do it in the rest of the playthrough because it's going to annoy the living heck out of you guys. I mean, I love you so much, I would definitely not say no to you. I could get so angry at times, but I don't want to be so mean to you, all of you. I just know I like you all. Yeah. Come on. Alright! Colossus complete! Now we don't need to go beat it off again. We can just go out of this level as we burn the flag. Fatality. What did I say about death? Well, there's gonna be a fatality statues everywhere, so... This is getting really dark now. I have no idea. Oh boy. More of this. Oh, hi, money bags. Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for ahem, a small fee? Great. Okay, when you jump in the water, you can use the D-pad to move around the surface. Use square to dive underwater. When you are underwater, use X to paddle and square to charge. Okay. Thanks. But you're just a little too greedy. I just... You just probably don't even want me to swim. Like, am I, I'm like, I'm just gonna have to criticize this right now. That in the first Spyro the Dragon, you, don't you know you don't learn to swim until the sequel? That's where you have to learn to swim. This is a cliche you probably should learn. You probably won't swim until the sequel plays because if you obviously try to swim in the water in Spyro, the dragon on PS1, the first one, you're gonna drown. Instantly. Just saying there. Just water physics don't even harm you. Well, this is probably the best control I ever got from a dragon to even swim underwater. Just a little bit of the practice. <laughs> Silly frogs. I love when they do that. Anyways, I'm going to stop right there. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time as we go to Idle Springs. This is Riffleini signing off. Have a wonderful day and bye.